Okay, so everybody, welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Nuts Glaze. In our last episode, we uh, we did some stockpile work. We're trying to kind of streamline our stockpiles. We got a big stone stockpile set up. We're trying to do a nice big trade goods stockpile uh, and see how that will work out for us. We are also probably going to get set up a wood stockpile as well. So why don't we go ahead and get that dug out? So we're gonna just put it, I think, just right here. So we've got this another big stockpile there. Oh, and we also caught some uh, we caught some wild pigs. So we're trying to train them. Yeah, actually, uh, oh, we caught another one. There we go. Yeah, and once we train them, we can just set them in a pasture, and uh, we will continue to train them as necessary. Pretty neat. So hopefully this uh, this trade goods stockpile works out, but it might take some streamlining on my part. It's not something that I've messed with before, but it makes a, an awful lot of sense to do. That way people aren't having to go really really far to drag things over to our trade depot all right so wood is fine we want to set this thing to give to our other wood stockpiles so you and actually we probably I don't know we probably could have just set these wood stockpiles to take from there that would have been yeah, we probably want to do that. If we just set it up to give, it might be a situation where it only gives to those specific ones. And we, we want the bigger stockpile to be able to give to anywhere. We just want these to, to specifically take from that stockpile. I guess it really doesn't matter. Looks like it's kind of six to one, half a dozen the other. Okay. <laughs> it's funny that I still have stone sitting in here in the in the stockpile spots for this wood stockpile. Like you would think after you know a few years that stuff would get hauled out, but apparently no. Apparently that's not the case. We have any other wood stockpiles? I don't think we do. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And then we need to set these stockpiles to give to the workshops. So there you go. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. That might not be a good idea here. Uh, actually, no, that's fine. Yeah, it's a wood furnace. That's fine. This is our carpenter. So yeah, that's fine for there too. And the reason we're doing that is so that they know that they're only supposed to take wood from around here and they don't go venturing out to find wood somewhere else. Okay. There. Hopefully that works. We will see. Make bucklers, okay. We'll just make some bucklers then. What do we got? We'll make, how about we make three leather bucklers? Because we might need them. Might be something we actually do need. Okay, what are you working on? Still making horn crafts, all right, that's, that's good. How's the bedroom situation? We have 16 unowned bedrooms. We have not made these into bedrooms yet, which we need to. And we're assigning them to our tavern. The lucky bread. Okay. Okay, yeah, and yeah, we looks like we may even need more. I don't know. We've got so many visitors right now, just so many visitors meditating on metals, really. 
Meditating on justice. Lots of people meditating. Meditating on wealth. There's a turtle in here. A piglet. It looks like a turtle. Picking up equipment. Meditating on metals. People thinking. Pray to Asen. Meditating on justice. Cool. Alright. So here are some other bedrooms that we built. Now these are going to be legit bedrooms for migrants. So we're just going to get that set up. Even though we don't really need them right now, it's a good idea to stay ahead of the demand curve. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh-oh, we have a were-rabbit. The were-rabbit Timic Cisatrasha has come. A large rabbit twisted in a humanoid form. It's crazed for blood and flesh. Its eyes glow orange. Its sepia hair is long and straight. Now you will know why you fear the night. Well, indeed, I will know why I fear the night. So, where is this were-rabbit? Oh, it's over here. You can see it. Um... Well, the animals might just end up getting getting eaten by the were-rabbit, I'm thinking. So we need to get everybody inside. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to set a burrow. I think we'll set the burrow in the temple. That's what I think we'll do. So, let's burrow. Add a new burrow. Uh, define the burrow. Make it that. That's going to be our burrow, right? Okay. So we back out. And now we go to our military screen. Actually, yeah, alerts. And we want to go active burrow. So that's going to confine our sieve to the burrow. Yeah, burrow 1 is active. And in the meantime, we also need to go to our levers here. And we need to add a task to pull the lever. Pull the lever. You know, the thing is, though, if we assign everybody to that damn burrow immediately, nobody's going to be here to pull the damn lever, you know? I want to leave the middle one open. Uh, let's see. Current standing orders. What's this? Announce all job cancellations. Would that work? It's not something I've ever done before. Seems like it should work. If we canceled all the jobs, everybody should come inside. I'm trying to think of a way to do this without burrowing here, but I guess we could just burrow on this floor. Well, actually, we could just... Yeah, it's fine. We have nothing in there. Define the burrow. Just... We'll just set the burrow here. It's fine. It's a pretty big burrow. That way, people will still be able to hit... They'll still be able to hit the levers, and they'll still be able to eat and uh, have a good time, I suppose. And then we want to get our military squad set up probably here. Yeah. So we want to select them and then we want to station them. So move here. I don't know who is outside, but I hope you come inside very quickly. So the thing is probably going to be eating our animals for a minute. So we got everything assigned to the burrow, right? Let's just make sure one more time. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. And we're going to get our squad moving. Once everybody's inside, so we look. 
Yeah, you need to come back in. Who else is outside? You are outside. You're butchering an animal. You need to come in. I'm trying to see if there's anybody really far away. So far I don't see anybody really far away. Except for a bunch of animals. Now there is a chance we could catch it in a cage, I suppose. Alright, let's see we'll unpause okay here it comes All right, what are you doing no job okay good the other guy I think went inside so yeah it's attacking the animals okay what are you doing Go to fighting demonstration. You guys are supposed to be stationing here, you dummies. Oh, they're gonna come in through the other gate, huh? So still up there, yeah, it's still up there munching on our herd, basically. Alright. Is this up? We can see. Yep, yeah, it is. Okay. What about. I think we can leave the middle one down, to be honest. Um, our We should be stationing up in the middle there. And then when that wear thing comes in, we should be able to take it out. Hopefully it doesn't get on that baby. Where's it at? I don't see it. There it is. Oh, it's all the way up here. Is that a wild animal? Uh, no. Oh, he changed back. So he basically butchered a bunch of our stuff. Oh, it's a human. What's he gonna do? Is he, is he, is he, did he just steal something from us? We need to kill him. We need to kill him. Um, because... He will come back. He absolutely will come back. Yeah, we want to kill this guy. He might get away. Because he's going to see us coming. He's going to know we're trying to kill him. probably just gonna run away. What are you doing? Are they heading to that square for some reason? No, it says they're gonna kill him. Now maybe they have to like spread out and look for him. Is he still here? I think he left. I think he left. Is he still here? No. I think he's gone. He didn't kill the water buffalo. That's amazing. So he probably should... Any... I've never had an animal turn into a were animal before, but we... As a precaution, maybe we should slaughter everything that uh, everything that took some damage there that didn't die. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's he's gone, but he he'll be back. Oh, he'll be back. They always come back. Trust me, they always come back. All right. So, I mean, we'll let him wander around for a little while, but we can go ahead and cancel the alert. They can go back to this. Alright, so let's take a look at our health for our animals. So this dog, right to slaughter it. I have to slaughter a lot of this stuff. Yeah, they got attacked. 
water buffalo. Anything else? Just the two dogs and the water buffalo, huh? Okay. Um. Semi wild, semi wild, trained. Nice. Oh, we could make these into war pigs. Oh, okay. The W means semi wild. Okay, we can't make them into war pigs. That would be really cool, though. Train that, train that wild boar that's male. I'm liking this whole catching thing. That's nice. It's working out really well for us. Now, when they start having piglets, that'll be when I'm really hyped about it. <laughs> All right, so um, we got a lot of dogs, so it's kind of hard to tell which one is uh, needs to be slaughtered. Might be easier to. Uh, can we go to the health screen and zoom? Recenter. There we go. Where is he at? That dog? Your right rear leg is mangled beyond recognition. We should have. We should have done some war dogs here. So we should have done. All right, I'm gonna have to butcher this thing. Oh, yeah, you can hit W for wounds, okay. Yeah, slaughter it. It's unfortunate, but we can't, ha we can't take the risk, guys. We can't take the risk, so. Can't take the risk, yeah. Slaughter that dog, and then this water buffalo bull. Unconscious, yeah. It pretty, it almost died, and then the thing. I think what happened is the thing reverted when it was about to kill it. So this is kind of like a mercy killing, really, is what we're doing here. Hopefully we can't, uh, we <laughs> hopefully this isn't going to like taint some meat or something. Alright, well that was unfortunate, but these things do happen. I'm kind of surprised it's been that long. It took us that long to get like some kind of a were beast attack. Alright, let's pull our lever. Open back up those other two gates. It was, it was actually a good thing that we, that we had those pastures there. Because it gave us a little bit of time to get those other two people inside. Alright, so let's pasture... We're going to put all of the wild stuff here, right? So let's... Oh, we need to let these dogs out. They're not puppies anymore. Okay, so where are those pigs? There they are. I think we can still let these out. Now the, the wild boar, I don't think we can do that to yet. Okay, and then here we can um, we can assign, this. we can actually take the dog and the hen out of there. But we need to assign any other smallish stuff in here now. Is there anything else? Really? No? Nothing? We could do some nest boxes. We could. Get some eggs. Okay, so, so we don't really have any any like puppies or anything. I thought we had some puppies, but we may not be able to assign them in there because maybe they, they have an owner. Yeah, we got a bunny, it's got an owner. I don't know. I thought we had some puppies. Mm, maybe not. All right, so any dog here that we have that doesn't have an owner, we are going to be giving you, we're going to be probably giving you war training. Oh, shnikes. Okay, there we go. There we go. We do have a male dog. Okay. All right, so we can still have some more dogs. 
I don't really want to war train my female dogs. Because I want them to have babies, you know? See, there's the puppy, but we can't put it in a cage because it's been adopted. So that's a shame. And the reason that you want to cage those animals is... Uh, you want to cage them up because all the animal pathfinding really hits your FPS pretty hard. So, that's the big reason there. Okay, so it's now heading into summer. I guess that's a pretty good place to put a cut in for our YouTube viewers. So, for those of you who are watching on YouTube after this uh, after this stream, if you in the future would like to participate in these streams, feel free to follow me at www.twitch.tv forward slash nerdstalgic. For those of you who are watching right now on Twitch, don't be afraid. I'm not ending the stream. I am, however, putting a cut in for my Let's Play series. So, it's going to sound like maybe it's coming to a close, but it's really not. So yeah, don't worry. So to all you guys out there in YouTube land, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, game on.